Craig, good evening. Evening, Howard. What a difference two wins makes. Concord 2-1 on Saturday, Folkestone 3-2 Tuesday night. Well done. Thank you. The fans certainly enjoyed it. Perhaps not the last 10 minutes, but <laughs> they did enjoy the result. I know, they won't let me have an easy night or easy day. But no, I was absolutely delighted. Two massive games. Um, it's put us in a good position, but we all know that what football's like, that can change very quickly. So we have to keep our feet on the ground and uh, and look forward to Saturday and Tuesday. Um, but the boys were magnificent. They, you know, the work rate they put in in those two games was phenomenal. And I think the, the fans appreciated it. And for sure, we appreciate the fans because Tuesday they were unreal. They were fantastic. You know, and it's it's getting back. We're getting back the buzz that we had. You know, last year and the year before, and and it was it was fantastic. You know, to 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 have that sort of back end, and it and it it makes a difference. So trust me, it really makes a difference. Ah, uh, because it's good to see the bounce. Yes, oh, for sure, for sure, definitely. Craig, um, we're we're turning in uh, Tuesday and Saturday uh, matches now towards the end of the season, and turning in peak performances as players can be a bit demanding with a day job as well. How are the squad coping? Um, yeah, we've picked up a few knocks from, from uh, Tuesday, so they won't be training tonight. They're in with a physio. So we'll see how they, they you know, how he assesses them and how, how they recover for tomorrow. But it's the same for every team, you know, that um, they, they, they all play uh, the Tuesday, Saturday, same as us. They'll work the same as us. But, um, what I've got now, I'll go in that dressing room, I look at the boys and I know what I'm going to get um, and they're, they're as honest as the day comes and that's what I think the supporters really appreciate, the, the work rate and the effort and desire they put in and I know I'm going to get that out of them now because that's, that's their mentality, they won't be great every game, they won't play particularly well maybe every game but they will give 100% every game and that's, that's all I can ask for. There's certainly been some team performances of late. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, And high spars in demand then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, while we're on the squad, uh, the registration deadline approaches next week. Um, are you planning any last minute bids? Yeah, we've, you know, we've got a few seven days that have gone out because with, like I say, the injuries that we've, we've picked up, uh, the, the, the squad is looking pretty thin. And we need we need to cover every eventuality for the last six weeks, you know. So, yeah, we've got a few go that have gone out, and hopefully um, we'll be bringing two or three in to sort of beef up the squad and and uh, give give competition, and also to give rest to people because, as you said, with the, the Tuesday Saturday, people start getting a bit of fatigue, and, and you want someone fresh coming in who's not going to weaken the side, and that's the that's the whole idea of it. Okay. Um we should take the opportunity while we, you, we've got you to uh, mention you're on uh, the 100 press-ups a day routine. How's it going? Um, not as easy as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to the boys I, I was going to do the 3,000 in one day, yeah, but they, they insisted I do 100 a day. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I think it'll wipe me out, but um, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm going to have, have a massive chest for the presentation or... or um, yeah, in the grand. <laughs> <laughs> it, and it's for cancer research, is that right? Yes, for a great cause. I'm sure that um, everyone's been touched by cancer, you know, uh, through family members or friends. And <clears throat> that I got approached, would I would I be interested in doing it? And I thought, yeah, you know, um, April, give it a go, under a day. I'll, I'll, I think I can manage that. I'll try. I've never done it sort of, um, I mean, if it was like the odd day, yeah, no problem. But to do it 30 days on advance, will take a bit of effort but it's, it's uh, you know it's a challenge and, and if there's anything I love it's a challenge. Some of the fans have suggested that at least one of the days should be videoed here at training. <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah I'll, I mean I'll do that no worries but uh, yeah it's, it's gonna be tough. Well, well we'll put a link on the uh, interview for uh, fans to uh, follow your progress and uh, support you. Yeah I mean if, you, like, if anyone wants to just put in a fiver or something, you know, it'd be very much appreciated. It goes straight to the to cancer research, you know. So, yeah, and like I say, it's for a good cause. Uh, uh, that's great, brilliant. And thanks for everyone who has who has donated. I really appreciate it. Finally, Craig, uh, 
what are you going to be sorting out on the training ground tonight? Because we've got Carl Shelton on, on league day. Um, we had what you might describe as a good day at theirs. Yeah, it was one of one of our uh, better performances of the season. Um, and they've been a, a real sort of um, hoodoo they've had over, over us, Cole Shorten. Because even when I think that we've, we've, we've outplayed them, we've never beaten them. And I remember <coughs> they, they beat us well. When we got promoted, they beat us well here. And we went over there and I thought we were much a better side. And they beat us 2-1. And I said to Peter, their manager, after the, we're in the bar having a drink, and I said, we're never going to beat you. <laughs> Whatever happens, we can't. But we, thankfully, we put that hoodoo to bed um, when we went down there. And, you know, I thought we were fantastic. And they, they got to go on injury time. That If you took a little bit of gloss off it, because, but I know Peter was really sort of, really angry about it with these boys so they've, they've lost one of the last 15 you know we, we've lost one of the last five so it's going to be a, a big task they've made a great run for the playoffs but we we still we still need, still need points so you know it should be a cracking game and yeah. they play they play good football so should it be should be entertaining yeah yeah entertaining and a tough match yeah yeah so non-league day you, you know we we probably couldn't pick better opponents to have a, a good game of football with and hopefully that, that hoodoo that we had for all those years is, is well and truly behind us. Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll get back to the stats and graphs, Craig, now right. we're getting to the, towards the end of the season because yeah. it keeps changing every week and there's another yeah, match yeah. tonight to have a look at. But uh, we'll let you get back to the training ground and uh, plan your approach for uh, Saturday and Carl Shelton. Brilliant. All right then, thanks guys. Cheers.